Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI. This is a very short video for the lay public to show you what the liver looks like. You may be wondering, what does the liver look like on MRI? It's just a quick overview. So this is an MRI with image of the upper abdomen. We can see the rectus abdominis muscles, the six pack up here. We see the subcutaneous fat is right around the rim. We can see some ribs, these areas in the ribs. And over here in the right side of the abdomen, we see this gray thing coming around. This is the liver. It's in the right upper quadrant. It's a big, um, well-defined region of homogeneous signal intensity. The spleen's over on the other side. And if we go to other images, we can see the same thing, but images like this will show the fat suppressed. And we can see things a little bit differently. When the fat is suppressed, things stand out a little bit better. We have other sequences like this where the contrast is different. It's called a T1-weighted image. We can see the liver over here again on this, but it just looks a little bit different. Certain pathologies may stand out better on this than on the other one. You can see the subcutaneous fat is bright. We also have different orientations like this where we can look straight at the liver and see the liver here. Here's the bottom of it now. Here's the top, right and left. On this view, we can see the front and back, right and left, called an axial view. Now, to just look over the basic anatomy, we see the liver has the left lobe over here, we have the right lobe over here, two lobes. If we go down below, we see this thing. This is the gallbladder filled with bile, bright bile. This is pretty well distended. There's no wall thickening. We don't see any gallstones. And coming out, we see a little structure here, that little dot. This is the common bile duct that'll come down and drain into the small intestine. Here's the small intestine. So what you see is that dilated. Is there a stone or structure causing that to be obstructed? Is there a mass in the pancreas obstructing that common bile duct? We also looked at the ducts in the liver. There's no dilatation. But if they were dilated, we see a tube coming out of the right or left lobes or both. And we also may see a dilated common bile duct. Again, here the gallbladder looks normal. No wall thickening. When the wall is thick or inflamed, we call that cholecystitis. And when we see those little round areas, filling defects, we call those gallstones in the gallbladder. So this looks totally normal. We also look at the contour of the liver to see if it's smooth. When people have cirrhosis or liver disease, the contour will become more lobulated rather than nice and smooth. They can also get shrinking of the liver, it'll contract down, lose volume, and they may get fluid surrounding it called ascites. They can also have solid masses. Some are benign, some are malignant and cysts in the liver look really much like the gallbladder. You can see little areas of brightness. Those are very, very common and usually benign. Just one last quick look here. This is a view where the liver is here in the right upper quadrant. You can see the diaphragm above the liver. This is the right lobe. And here's the lung on the right. Here's the lung on the left. This is the heart. You can see on this view the hepatic veins, these dark areas draining into the inferior vena cava that goes up into the heart here really close by. And this is just a nice, normal appearance of the liver.